Hi friends, this is Megaherve here, and I apologize for the lack of updates lately. I've just been trying to muster up the courage to play Eek the Cat for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. It never hurt uh, famous last words. Anyway, yeah. This game makes my brain hurt. This is another game I got back in the day. And it's just... it's exquisite. The main problem here for this game is the whole thing's an escort mission. In this one you have to push Granny Smith around the whole time. And you have to find the exit while making sure she doesn't die. So you can let them wander around and feel out the areas at first if you aren't familiar, but... I am somewhat familiar with the first three stages. I also can't remember if I ever got to the second level. I know I've watched the second level be played, I don't know if I've ever actually played it myself, so we'll have to see how that goes from here. But as harsh as I'm going to be on this game, you can't, like, the, the music in this game I think is actually pretty good, which offends me. Oh, and also, there's hamburgers in a lot of places, like they're hidden around. I honestly can't remember what they do, but they must do something, otherwise they wouldn't be there, I would hope. But yeah, if you let that monkey hit Granny, in that case, it knocks her straight to the exit. I don't think it was really intentional to be obvious that you can do that, but I like to, it saves time. Moving swiftly forward. These the first two levels aren't really the problem. It's the level after this that's the bane of my existence. And... Alright, yeah, there's some secrets over here, a couple of burgers for me to collect. I I must have at least four now, whatever that does. I seriously can't remember, like... I know I used to have the manual for it, I don't think I do anymore. I might have it somewhere. Wouldn't really do much good anyway. But there's no walkthroughs, no nothing. I'm pretty much gonna have to feel the rest of this game out on my own. It's part of the reason why I want to play it, like, if anyone else ever decides to play this, wants to try to beat it, there'll be this to watch. Or just look at it and be like, wow, I'm glad I didn't play this. But yeah, I left Granny alone there, because she'll just bounce back and forth off a couple of walls and won't die. Won't die quickly. Like, you see that gray meter up at the top? It's Granny's life meter, plus it counts as a timer. So if you, if you leave her alone for too long, eventually she'll just die of old age. And you don't particularly want that. Well, depends who you ask. And I hate his bludgeoning weapon. It is just kind of amusing to me that he bludgeons people with frozen trouts. I don't think it's frozen, but I'll pretend it is to amuse myself. I suppose he is a cat. I know another thing that just irks me in general, like the for the lives, it's three, five, and seven. Like he's a cat. They should have nine lives. I don't think Bubsy would mind if nine lives was an option in this, either. Right. This snake's actually a bit of a pain here, but as long as you run and boot Granny in a rusty old arse... Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself, this is the Scorpion. Yeah, that's another thing, too. You can only boot Granny in her arse, like if you're in front of her and you try to kick her in her old clam cave. She, uh, just it turns her around. Keep that in mind, should you... Uh, like, even though the music in this is good, this game still hurts me. It makes it a little less painful, but it's still painful. Here we go. Must go up here. Okay. So yeah, seriously, I've been trying to muster the courage to play this game. Like, it's... It, it's... But I... It's like a calling, I, I have to. Like how I had to play Baby's Kids, I had to play Rise of the Robots, and I had to play Dragon's Lair. Okay, why is there six burgers? Okay. This... Alright. Anytime, like, a, a character jumps in the water, except... Like, you're a cat, you can go in the water for whatever sense that makes. Another secret down there. If Granny falls in the water, she's dead. The only way to get her across is to get her to stand on that rotating barrel that happens to be going back and forth. 
How she can keep balanced on the barrel is anyone's guess. I really shouldn't be nitpicking about realism for this game. Yeah, you don't want that elephant to shoot water at Granny and knock her back over that. Okay, now let's get Granny on mushrooms. And how should get that burger? Uh, actually, I better not get that burger. Because this part is annoying. Like, you can drop back down past the spot again. Turn her around, you monkey. Okay, now you gotta do a flying Granny kick and get her over. Okay. Okay, so far so good. This is actually a pretty clean run so far. Alright, now I gotta do another flying granny strike. And kick in the arse, granny. Okay. Alright, we're doing good. We're not out of the woods yet. There's one more really annoying part in this level. If I can get past that, it'll be golden. The game thinks it's Donkey Kong for a minute. An escort mission Donkey Kong. No, Granny, don't- No, there, that's better. Why can't I just kick you in your crusty old clam cave? That would make things so much easier. Like, you're kicking her anyway, like, what difference does it make if it's from the front or the back? Okay. This is the problem. Anytime you get hit with the barrel, you get squished. Which means you can't kick Granny. So the only real option here is to try to let her get hit. At least it doesn't take much- Okay. Okay, go up. Go up there. No, 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 no. Uh, yes, I want to push her back onto the oncoming barrels. Okay. Let's do it now. No. Okay, I, I love it. Alright, let's back up. At least those barrels don't do much damage. That's the only solace. Okay, I'll let Granny get pelted once more. Third time's the charm. Come on. Get up there. Alright, perfect. Oh, that must be about the burgers. I honestly don't remember this at all. Bonus level, okay. So you gotta feed eek. Alright, I will. Holy crap. Those are big teeth. Why doesn't he just use those teeth to eat the enemies? Maybe they don't taste good, but that's a lot of food to eat really quickly, like that would put Kirby to shame. Let's see how much I have to eat here. How much ink can eat? Chocolate cake and burger galore. Now it's back and forth. Yum 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 yum. Well, I'm guessing I want to avoid Sharky the Shark Dog. And I ate him. And he throws me in the trash can because I ate him. Fair enough. If someone tried to eat me, I'd throw them in a trash can head first. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's the end of the There's first level. Uh, I might as well try to keep these separate, because I don't know if I've played this level before or not. So there's no point in trying to beat my head against it like that right now and just watch me die a bunch. I'm amazed I did as well as I did. Anyway, I thank everyone for watching, and I wish you all a pleasant evening, because this will probably be the only time I'll do that, is the next episode I'll probably want to kill myself. Good night, folks!